Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to demonstrate how to convert USD to USDC on Coinbase and we'll talk about why this makes Coinbase one of the better crypto on-ramps for fiat. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, and tick the bell to receive future content. By the way, none of this is financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Do your own research, please, and make your own decisions for what to do with your money. Before we get into the demonstration of converting USD to USDC, let's talk a little bit about why this is important. Coinbase provides a free conversion from USD to USDC and back. Whenever you want to get out of crypto or cash out, you can take whatever coins you have, whatever tokens you have, and sell them for USDC, send that USDC over to Coinbase, convert it to USD, and then send that USD over to your bank account. If you're owning tokens that are on the Ethereum network or even some other blockchains like Polygon or Solana or others, USDC is typically available on those other blockchains. Coinbase has also recently added support for Polygon. So if you have a token and you have it on the Polygon blockchain, fees are often a lot less than they are on Ethereum. You can sell your tokens for USDC on Polygon and send that directly to Coinbase to be converted to USD to get back to your bank account. Okay, so let's convert some USD over to USDC. Uh, I'm on my Coinbase account. I've logged in gone to my assets. I have some USD that I've sent over from my bank account that's in my Coinbase account and I want to convert my USD over to USDC. So I'm going to click on this buy sell. I want to change it to use the cash that I have that's in my current Coinbase account. So I'm changing it to cash. I'm going to purchase USDC USD coin which is USDC <clears throat> and now I have up to sixty dollars worth uh, let's just convert fifty over we're going to do a one-time purchase we're going to preview the buy and, and you'll notice that the fee from Coinbase for doing this conversion is free so we're just going to do the buy and that's it. I can look at the transaction. It'll open up a new window for that. So I bought USDC with my USD $50 worth. I can go back to my assets and you can see that I have $50 worth of USDC and the remaining $10 is still in USD. At this point, I have my USDC. I can then send that USDC over to my own crypto wallet and once it's in my wallet, I can use it on a DEX like Uniswap or OneInch or Matcha.xyz where I can swap it for whatever Ethereum token that I'm interested in. Now let's assume I'm wanting to go in the other direction. I have some sort of Ethereum token and I want to cash out. I want to get some money that I can spend out of my personal bank account. I can then on a DEX do a swap of whatever token that is for USDC. I can send it to Coinbase. Once it's in Coinbase as USDC, I'm going to do my buy and sell and convert it back to USD. I'm going to click the buy sell blue button up here at the top. We're going to click on sell. We want to sell our USDC cash so we're going to add it to the cash we're selling USDC I'm going to go ahead and click sell all which will sell all of the USDC that I have it went to preview after selling doing sell all it's showing me it's going to convert my 50 USDC it's going to add it to cash uh, the coinbase fee is non-existent the coinbase fee fee is zero. Go ahead and click sell now. And it's completed. And if I go over to assets, it's converted all of my USDC, the $50 worth, and added it to my original $10 of USD. And I've got my $60 back, which I can then use to send to my bank account that's linked to Coinbase and you can look at how to do that in a separate video that I'll include a link to in the comments.
So that concludes our demo and summary. Coinbase provides this function of converting USD to USDC and back for free. So this makes Coinbase a great on-ramp for fiat because those other methods on other centralized exchanges or even credit cards usually require fees to perform these conversions. Also, Coinbase is one of the more popular and established centralized exchanges, so it's going to be a lot less risky to temporarily have your coins on Coinbase as opposed to some other centralized exchanges where it would be a little bit more risky to do something. I still don't recommend keeping your coins on for any lengthy period of time. Just keep them on for the amount of time that's required to move your coins, your USDC, into Coinbase, convert it to USD, which is immediate, and then move it to your bank account. Most tokens on the Ethereum blockchain support swapping with USDC on DEXs. So any of the tokens that you own that are based off of Ethereum, more than likely you're going to be able to swap them directly for USDC. Having that liquidity allows you to swap your tokens for USDC and not have slippage or uh, big swings in price when you're trying to get rid of or unload your tokens. The demo shows what Coinbase currently has for these screens. It's very likely that Coinbase will change some of this stuff. Uh, for me, Coinbase Pro was better. It, I could just go to my assets and next to USD or USDC, there was a button next to it that just said convert and it would allow you to just click on that and convert from USD to USDC or click on your USDC row and convert to USD directly just seemed like it was a lot more intuitive so they may go back to that eventually if enough people complain. Uh, one thing to be aware of is once you become a millionaire in crypto which I'm sure is inevitable you're gonna be possibly moving more than ten thousand dollars worth of coins in USD value on and off of Coinbase and any of those types of transactions that are ten thousand dollars or more can trigger Coinbase to notify the IRS that your account is moving 10000 or more. So just be aware that that will likely cause the IRS to be notified. You should be paying taxes anyway for anything that you're doing in crypto. Uh, it's just not a good idea to not be paying your taxes. It's just going to cause you to lose all that fantastic money that you earned by being in crypto in the first place. Another thing to be aware of is that there's different levels of KYC or know your customer that Coinbase requires or provides so you can have a, a minimum amount of personal information that you give Coinbase to, to identify yourself. They do require a minimum amount and if you provide them with more then they will raise the amount of money that you can move off of Coinbase. At the lower identification KYC levels, Coinbase limits how much you can move off of Coinbase in any 24-hour period. Also, if you're new to crypto, I did write a book called Crypto, What I Learned the Hard Way by Crypto Jags. Uh, you can find it on Amazon in the Kindle book area. It goes into a lot more detail about uh, why you, you might want to get into crypto and what the value proposition is. Uh, I go into more details about risk versus reward and I, I go into a lot of details about how to avoid uh, scams. I think there's a lot of really good information in there and I've uh, got a link in the description uh, if you decide you want to delve into that a little bit more and maybe try and understand better about what crypto is and, and what the value proposition is. Well I hope you enjoyed this conversion demo. If you did press like and subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching.